Praise the Lord. And welcome to this wonderful worship service. Let's pray. Everlasting Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you, O oh God, because of the blessings that you give freely for those who are born again. Thank you for what you already accomplished on the cross for us. We give you glory and honor. As in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. The message, uh, the title of the message is Already Done. Already Done. There is something that Christ has already done and is upon you and me to receive and enjoy the blessings. Yeah. Mark chapter 10 verse 45 is a scripture verse and it says, For even the Son of Man did not come to be sound, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Hallelujah. Christ already came to give and gave his life as a ransom to purchase salvation for all of us. He already paid for our sins. He already suffered so that we will not live a life of suffering. We will solve our sicknesses, our diseases, the problem of being oppressed by demons in our lives. Hallelujah. Amen. But what is remaining is people now to hear the living word of God, the gospel of Christ, and receive that which has already been purchased and is offered freely for all mankind. And that is salvation. Hallelujah. How do we receive salvation? John 1, 12 to 13. says, Yet to all who received him, to those who believe in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Children born not of natural descent or husband's will, but born of God. Praise the Lord. Amen. If you have never accepted Jesus Christ, by the end of this message, I pray that the saving grace of the Lord will be upon you. That you will receive Jesus in your heart through a sincere prayer. Asking the Lord, Lord, I open my heart and I will receive you. Remember, Revelation chapter 3, verse 20 says, Here I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice, and opens the door, I come in and hit with that person, and that person with me. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, I pray that you receive Christ in a sincere prayer. You who have never received Jesus in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. And to us who have already accepted Jesus Christ, who has, those who have received him already, God desires us to live a life that proclaims the gospel and leads people to salvation, leading them to receive Jesus in their hearts. Hallelujah. Amen. And we need to enjoy the blessing of healing. Already Christ was wounded for our healing. Isaiah chapter 53 verse 5 says, By his wounds we are healed. So even this hour, pray and receive healing in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord has already sent his word to heal our disease. As we read, he said, he sends his word and heal our disease. So the problem is not on the sending end. It's not on God's side. The problem is on the receiving end on our side. And what hinders us from receiving that which the Lord has already purchased and offers freely is disbelief, is fear, Doubts, hidden sins which we know. Let us confess before the Lord and let us cast out every element of disbelief in our lives and let us receive and enjoy that which the Lord already purchased and gives freely, He offers freely for us to receive by faith. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord, after raising from the dead, He ascended to heaven and He poured His Spirit. On all people, as he had promised in Joel chapter 2, verse 28 to verse 32. And the disciples received the filling of the Holy Spirit in Acts chapter 2. That promise was granted. Hallelujah. Amen. 
and it's for you and for me, we who are born again. Hallelujah. Amen. Acts chapter 4, verse 31. It says, Acts chapter 2, verse 39, sorry. The promise is for you and your children and for all who are far off, all who the Lord God will call. The promise of the feeling of the Holy Spirit is even for you and for those who are far away. What does that mean? The people we are going to evangelize to and they are going to accept Jesus Christ in their lives. The promise is also for them. Hallelujah. Amen. And we need to desire to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Possibly every day. The disciples of the Holy Church were filled with the Holy Spirit a number of times. But as we see them uh, being filled with the Holy Spirit in Acts chapter 2. And then Acts chapter 4. Again, when they faced persecution from the Jews. Religious people. They prayed together. We read Acts chapter 4 verse 31. And they were again filled with the Holy Spirit. They were filled so much that the place where they were gathering shook. And they spoke the word of God boldly. Hallelujah. Amen. When you're filled with the Holy Spirit, you are filled with the boldness. Hallelujah. Amen. Because the Lord is at work in you. The Lord is with you. And you realize that the Lord is for you. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's pray for the filling of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. And now, because it has already been poured, we are not asking the Lord, the Lord fill us. But we are receiving the filling of the Holy Spirit. The word receive is being used so much even in the book of Acts. We see Acts chapter 8. Peter and John being sent to Samaria and when they lay their hands on the believers who had been evangelized to by Philip they received the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. hallelujah Amen. Paul himself received the feeling of the Holy Spirit when Ananias came and laid his hand on him and prayed for him Acts chapter 9 verse 17 he received the feeling of the Holy Spirit the believers who are Gentiles in Cornelius' house, as we read uh, the book of Acts chapter 10, verse 44 to verse 47. As Peter was continuing to proclaim the word of God, they received the feeling of the Holy Spirit. They believed. When you believe, then you receive the feeling of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And then Acts chapter 19, we see uh, Paul meeting some disciples in a place called Ephesus. And these disciples had received the baptism of John, but they had not heard whether there is a Holy Spirit. But Paul proclaimed the gospel to them, and he prayed for them. And they received the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. In conclusion, I want to say that non-believers must first be born again to be able to receive this blessing of the filling of the Holy Spirit. Non-believers belong to the world. At John chapter 14 verse 17, Jesus said, The world cannot receive the Spirit of truth. For it doesn't know Him. But you know Him. For he lives in you and will be with you. So non-believers need first to be born again. And the way is to believe and accept Jesus Christ in their heart. Hallelujah. Amen. So whenever you meet non-believers who want to be prayed for, they want to receive the feeling of the Holy Spirit, lead them first to accept Jesus Christ in their lives. Hallelujah. And then they change their identity. They become children of God. Hallelujah. And when they become children of God, they are heirs according to God's promise. 
that has received the promise of the Lord. And let's live a life of enjoying these promises in our lives. Let's pray. The everlasting Father, I thank you. Thank you for what you already accomplished on the cross. Now we receive this blessing. We receive our healing. We receive our deliverance. We receive our victory. We receive the guidance of the Holy Spirit even this hour upon our lives in Jesus' name. Lord, whenever we take our steps in your harvest field, Lord, we want to lead people to receive Jesus Christ. And even as we pray for believers, I pray that they receive the filling of the Holy Spirit today. Thank you, everlasting Father, and in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.